Hey Crafty Friends, today we are making a super easy fun faux card. I will, but I'm going to use the Nature Sing, Let Nature Sing, or Heaven and Nature stamp set. Um, there are coordinating dies with this. We're using this from Pajama Crafter Stamps. That's what I'm going to use today for my card. I did make a card using the Baking Spirits Bright stamp set, and also there is coordinating dies for that also. I will show you the card that I made with this a little later. So stick around and check it out. So we're going to move that to the side. We're going to talk about our pieces. I've got some pattern paper for my stash, but we've got our pattern paper. I've got a piece for the inside of my card. I've got a one inch by four inch piece for the outside and a two inch by four inch piece. I've got a three by four piece of white for the inside of my little fun fold. I've got a four by five and a quarter inch piece for the inside of my card. I've got another piece of pattern paper that coordinates with this other two pieces. This is cut at five and a quarter by four. I've got my two pieces of cardstock. My regular card base is three, five and a half by eight and a half. My fun fold part is three and a quarter by eight and a half. So we're going to go ahead and score our pieces. So I'm going to score my regular card base. Since it's five and a half by eight and a half, I'm going to go ahead and score that at four and a quarter. My card base. For my little fun fold part, it's three and a quarter by eight and a half. We're also going to score that at four and a quarter. Like I said, this is a super easy fun fold. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the insides, of our inside pieces. So we're going to set all that to the side for a second. We're going to start off with the inside of our card. And I am going to stamp the lantern. You will also need another piece to stamp and color your lan uh, lantern and bird on. I've already done that off screen to save some time for us today. We're going to take that and I'm going to stamp in just some distressed oxide ink. I'm going to stamp in crackling. Uh, pistachio because it's the nice light green color so we'll go ahead and stamp that one more time got a nice impression I see it missed a little spot there Take my sentiment that I'm going to use for the inside. And I'm going to stamp that in Versafine Claire because it's a nice dark ink that will go over right over that Distress Oxide ink. We're going to stamp Heaven and Let Heaven and Nature Sing on the inside. We can still write over that, so don't worry about that. Now, I didn't mention this, but the coordinating dies, you can cut out the poinsettia separate and the little bird separate, along with the lantern, you can cut everything out. So if you wanted to stamp multiples of these and color them and have different dimension, you could do that. All right, let's take our little piece right here. So our inside of our fun fold part. And we're just going to simply add a sentiment to that. I'm going to stamp this in a red oxide ink. I'm using Lumberjack Plaid. And remember, stick around to the end and I will show you the other version of this card. All right, let's go ahead and we'll put our insides together. So we're going to use our Barely Art Glue get it out of my cupcake glue holder. We're going to take our pattern paper for our front. I'm 
having little technical technical issues. Take our little fun fold, center it top, bottom, and the two sides onto our card base. We're going to take our one inch piece of pattern paper. We'll add that to the left hand side, making sure you leave a nice border. take our two by four inch piece and butt that right up together make sure they're even now here is my heaven and nature stamped out image that I've colored using my markers so we're gonna add that to our card and I'm going to lay this on here because I don't want to get glue at the bottom down here or off the edge. So I only want to get glue on this where it's not going to hang off. I'm going to put glue right there. That down. Still opens. All right, we're going to take a jelly roll pen. We're going to add some highlights. dots in the berries, very subtle highlights on the poinsettias. All right, so there's my little fun fold. It has a little fun fold on the front. Plenty of room that you can write a message on the insides. Here is the other version that I made using the Baking Spirits Bright stamp set. I hope that y'all give this fun photo a try, and I will see you guys in the next video. Remember, stay crafty.